Jewel crafting is the main new feature added in the Arcane Odyssey update. Though leveling up the skill can take a long time, using a minimum of 100 gems and 500 reagents, the effects they give are definitely worth it. If you equip two perfect jewels to an item, the stat bonus is almost the same as an enchant. That's without considering the secondary stats that each jewel gives. Fighting someone with perfect jewels is almost as unfair as fighting someone if you didn't have enchants. They allow you to get insane stats which I will go over in my next video about new armor builds. For now, I will cover how jewel crafting works, how to get gems quickly, and what the best jewels are. If you are new to the update, basically all gems were wiped since there was a dupe, and there are now jewel crafting tables all around the map. To craft a jewel, simply hold a gem and put it into the table, then put 5 of a reagent that can be imbued to gems into the table and you're done. There are 12 reagents that can be imbued to gems, and depending on their tier, they can give either 300 or 500 jewel crafting XP per jewel made. To socket a jewel, just open your inventory and click on the jewel like you would for an enchantment scroll. Your armor does have to be unequipped though, which can be annoying. To upgrade or remove jewels from an armor piece, interact with the jewel crafting table and select the jewel or armor. Upgrading a jewel costs around 70 to 214 galleons, which isn't confirmed, depending on the level and jewel, totaling between 534 and 764 to upgrade each jewel to perfect. The cost to remove jewels depends on the armor piece's value and it ranges from 100 to 200 for most items to only 300 to 400 for sunkins. Overall, it's not too expensive to upgrade jewels since you could easily farm this many galleons while you're farming gems. So how do you farm gems and reagents quickly? The most direct way to farm them is by breaking rocks around the map which drops gems at a low chance. However, this method is very boring and the rate is extremely low. The other method is from treasure charts and sealed chests. Treasure charts have a 33% chance to give a gem per step or 50% if it is exotic or higher. Seal chests have a 20% chance to give a random gem. What I did was solve treasure charts, stopping at diving spots and killing pirates along the way. Treasure charts usually have silver chests which drop gems at a decent rate, but unless they are exotic or legendary, treasure charts give less gems than seal chests from diving spots and pirates. By farming treasure charts, diving spots, and pirate ships, you can optimize the rate of getting gems by overlapping seal chest farming with otherwise wasted sailing time for treasure charts. I also updated my treasure chart website to include Blasted Rock and the new Palo Town. To get reagents, you should explore underwater structures and diving spots for Oryx Seaweed, Luminous Coral, and Amphibious Blue. Oryx Seaweed is the best reagent to farm with since it is very common in underwater structures and gives 500 XP since it is a tier 2 reagent. For exploring underwater structures, you should have lots of low tier water breathing and revealing potions. I have a video explaining how to farm revealing potions, so be sure to check that out if you are having trouble. When crafting jewels, you should spend all secondary stat gems with Oryx Seaweed to gain as much XP as possible. For power and defense gems, you can either save them or craft them with your desired reagent. Now to the best jewels. If we compare stat bonuses from enchants to the stat bonuses of jewels, we can see that power and defense have about the same ratios while secondary stats have much lower ratios. That means that we should only use power or defense jewels. If you want more attack speed or agility, apply swift or nimble enchants, not jewels. The best reagent is by far the copper shroom, which can be found on the step zones as well as on the jaws pillars. It gives between 2.5 to 5% energy regeneration, which lowers the amount of time you spend charging. The best way to farm is by climbing up jaws pillars, scouting out the area, then climbing up a pillar with copper shrooms on it. The next best reagent is the golden apple, which gives between 1-2% to blocking power. You should probably have 4-6 to six copper shroom jewels, 1-3 to three golden apple jewels, and maybe an oryx seaweed jewel. If you don't have many copper shrooms or golden apples, arcane salt from underwater rocks and iron scraps also work. Jewel crafting completely destroys the armor meta. The amount of stats they give is quite unfair to someone without perfect jewels. Eventually, more and more people will have perfect jewels, so it will balance out. I will be making a video soon explaining the fine details of jewel crafting, so if you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when that video releases. 